Welcome to this Wise Owl tutorial on automating teams using Power Automate. So here's what you'll learn during this tutorial. So we'll begin by looking at the example we're going to create, which is going to listen for keywords on one channel to do with uh, box sets. And when we hear something specific to the Succession mini-series, which I think is on Sky Atlantic, then we'll post it to that more dedicated channel. To do, get this all to work, what we firstly need to do is to create the relevant two Teams channels. Then we'll need to create the necessary trigger listening for the keywords on one channel. We need to get the details of the message which someone's posted and then get the contents of the message, not the same thing. What we then need to do is post the update to the separate specific succession channel saying it's been mentioned. And finally, what we're going to do is test out the flow to see if it all works. But that's enough of looking at me. I'll vanish now as I tend to do at this stage. And let's get started. So here's what we're going to do for this tutorial. I've created, and you'll create as part of the tutorial, two channels, one called box sets and one called succession. The box sets one is the one you're looking at at the moment, and that contains general discussion about which box sets people should watch next. The succession one is more specific and is just to do with the succession series. And if you don't know what that is, there's a quick photo of some of the main cast members. I must confess, I've only seen one episode of it, but I'm not a great box set watcher anyway. So the idea behind it is that if someone posts something on the box sets channel, which mentions some of the characters from Succession, then Teams will automatically post a message using a flow on the Succession channel saying what the mention is. So let's see this work in practice. So someone says, which box set should I watch? Anyone got any good recommendations? I'm going to reply to that and say the one with Let's say the one with Kendall and Logan in. I think those are the two characters. And then I'm going to press return to post it. What will happen is on the succession, I'll automatically get a post appearing saying that somebody's mentioned uh, succession or may have mentioned succession on a general channel. And there's even a link back to the original message. So if I click on this, it will take me back and show me my original message that I just typed in. So that's what we're going to achieve. Here's the flow to get it to work. So when a keyword is mentioned in Teams, what it will do is loop over all the possible keywords. I'll come to that in more detail. It will get details of the message, compose uh, what it looks like, and then post a message in the chat containing details of the message. So that's what we're going to do for this tutorial. So um, let's get started by creating our channels in Teams. So I thought we'd begin with creating the channels in Teams we're going to use. If you're already a Teams guru, you might like to skip over this bit, but it'll be very brief. So there's my calendar in Teams. You might like to weep with envy that is completely empty. I'm going to go to Teams on the left hand side. I'm using new Teams, by the way, as you can see at the top left of the screen here, which seems to me remarkably similar to old Teams. And what I'm going to do is choose to create two new channels. So I'll click on the three dots next to one of the groups and I'll choose to add a new channel. So I'm call my first channel box set discussions. Could could I but spell discussions? Um, discussions uh, box sets will do as a description. And the channel type will be a standard one so everyone can access it. And what I'll then do is create another quick channel. So I can click on the three dots and choose to add a new channel. And I'll call this one succession discussions. And that will be discussions about succession. You get the idea. And that will be a general channel, cha <coughs> standard channel too. So what I could now do within each of these is maybe create a sample post. So on my box set discussions, I'm going to create a quick post. Um, hello everyone. And I'm going to say, anyone got any recommendations? So I'll post that. And on the succession discussion, just to get it started, I'll add a new post saying succession, anyone? And I'll put new channel for fans of succession. So you get the idea of what a channel is. So what we'll now do is create the flow, which will automatically pick up on when some keywords have been mentioned. So I'll create an automated cloud flow. I'll just skip this stage as I often do. The trigger I'm going to pick up on is Teams. And if you choose Teams, you'll see that whereas some of the other applications we've looked at have only had one or two triggers, Teams has a huge range. 
The reason for this, I think, is whereas other applications were ported over from desktop applications, Teams was specifically designed to run in the cloud. Maybe that's why anyway. So you might like to have a look down some of these possible triggers. I'm going to choose when keywords are mentioned right at the bottom. And what I can then do is choose message type. So I want things which are mentioned in a channel. And the keywords I'm going to search for are Logan, who I think is the name of the person who's, I believe it's dying and who everyone's inheriting from. Roy, I'm going to stop trying to make up who the other people are. And I'll put in Kendall, Shiv and Roman. You can have as many of these as you like. And I'll choose my team ID, which will be wiseourcourses.co.uk. And that's the one that Delegate 51, who I happen to be, belongs to. And I'm going to choose the channel which I'm listening to, which is a box set discussions channel. So that's my trigger. So just before I continue, I'll quickly name this. Let's call it listen for succession keywords. And then I'll add another step. And what this step will do is get details about my message. So it's a Microsoft Teams action. And again, if you look, there are a lot of actions I could choose from here. Quite a bewildering number, really. So what I want to do is get detail about the message which caused this to come up. So I'm going to click on get message details and I'll choose my message ID, which is this one. It's a message chosen from or it output from the previous step. And the moment I do that, it creates an apply to each loop. Now, the reason it does that is potentially there could be lots of messages which cause this to run. I must be honest, I can't see how that could work in this case, but it's not the first time we've seen the Power Automate will create an apply to each loop, which is only ever going to loop over a single message in this case. So let's just accept it. If we now go back to the get message details, I can choose my message type. It's on a channel. And what I can then do is choose the team, which is wiseourcourses.co.uk, and I can choose the channel, which is um, box set discussions. Now, the reason I've shown you this is because there's another field you might like to fill in. When you choose a message, it will work fine for normal messages, but it won't work for replies. For replies, what you need to do is click in the parent message ID. As it says there, it says it's required if this message is a reply and choose the reply to message ID. Now, there's two ways you could try to use this. You could try to understand exactly what's going on there or you could just accept that if you fill in the message ID for the message and the reply to message ID for the parent, then it will always work. It will pick up not only original posts, but also replies to posts too. I must admit, I'm inclined to choose the second option. So that's how you can get details of the message. What we now need to do is to post this on the other channel. So let's do that. So before I continue to post a message to the Succession Teams channel, I want to know what content I can get at. And the best way to do that in Power Automate is nearly always to test out what you've done so far. So I can do that by going to Teams and I can post a reply. You can see there's one I did here just now checking it. So I'm going to post another very similar reply. So I click on reply and I'll say, if anyone got any recommendations, I'll say, what about the one with, who else have we got in? Shiv and Roman in. And if I post that, then what should happen is my flow should run. It won't post anything to the succession discussions channel yet because I haven't added that action in. But if I go back to my flow, and if I go back and have a look at the run history, you can see there 11 seconds ago it ran. The previous flow was one you didn't see when I was testing this out. And if I click on that flow, what I'll be able to do is when I expand the apply to each loop and look at get message details, I'll be able to see the outputs from it. So you can see here the main body of the JSON returned from this. And that main body contains a body section down here. And that main body section contains a content section giving the HTML of the text. So that's what I need to get at, body slash body slash content. Now, fortunately, there's a shortcut for doing this. So I don't have to remember all that. So I can go back into editing my flow and I can add an action at the bottom of my loop to say, compose text giving the message I want to post to the channel. So I'll click on compose. And what I can do within this 
is look down my list of message details and with a bit of luck there'll be something giving the body content and there it is so if i click on that and just to show you and this is a bit of a reminder to what we did earlier what i could do is i could copy that so i could click on it copy it to the clipboard and that works and i could go to my expression and paste in there but i'm going to have to do it with Control v and you can see there the um expression is put in so it's in the body section or the body of the json within the body section of that get of the content so you can see that by looking at the output from when you run the flow you can work out what you want to get at so now i've got that i can compose another action which will actually post a message into the relevant channel So what I want to do now, finally, is to post my message uh, to, or post some text to this succession channel. So I can add one more action in here. It's going to be a Teams action for sure. And what it's going to do is to post um, to a channel. So post message in a chat or channel looks good to me. Again, there's a whole load of different actions you can choose for Teams. What am I going to post as? Well, ideally, I think I'd like to post as a flow bob because after all, it's an automated procedure going on. But what I found is no matter how hard I try, I can't get that to work. So I'm actually going to choose as a user. If anyone can work out how to make that work, please let me know and post it on the discussion forum for this video. Where am I going to post my message? In a channel. Which channel? Well, which team firstly, I guess. It's going to be wiseoutcourses.co.uk, which channel is going to be the succession one, succession discussions, and what will my message say? So new um, uh, message added, and then I'll put the content of the message, which is the output from the previous stage, which is what somebody wrote in. And then what I'd like to do is say, click here to see this message. So to do this, I can put, let's do the easy bit first, click to see this message. But I now want to make this word here clickable. To do that, I'm going to have to delve into HTML. So what I can do is click on this little symbol on the right hand here. Again, this is something we have done in previous tutorials. And what that will do is turn this into HTML, which it always was, but it just makes it more transparent what's going on. Since I've got HTML, let's add an HR code for a, a line, a horizontal row, above and below my output to make it easier to read and for the click here to see the message what I need to do is open up a hyperlink so I could put angle brackets a and I could put href equals and two double quotes one after the other I'll put the title equals and that will say click to see message and to close the angle brackets and what I now need to do after the word here is close my hyperlink tag now if that's all completely foreign to you um, you possibly need to learn a bit about HTML before coming back to this little bit of the tutorial. But it's reasonably easy to understand. What I haven't said is what my hyperlink will be. So what I now need to do is put something there which will link back to the message somebody has just posted. Unfortunately, there's exactly that property exposed in dynamic content, link to message. So I can just add that in. And I think that will do. I guess I need a subject for my message. Um, possible succession chat should do and what I can now do is save that and it's time to see if it actually works so to see if my new flow works what I'm going to do is go back to my box set discussions and I'm going to add a new post so the new post will say any more recommendations and I'll put an exclamation mark after that and please post info on other box sets. And I'll place that. So at the moment, I haven't mentioned Logan, Roy, Kendall, Shiv, or Roman. So that won't be picked up by my flow, but it is running and listening for the keywords. What I can now do is reply to that. And what I'm going to do is say, I'm sorry about the repetition, how about the one with uh, Kindle and Shivin? And then I'll post that. And the moment I do that, the flow will pick up on that and should post something in succession discussions, succession discussions, and there it is. 
So I've added a new message. There's my horizontal row above and below the output. There's what I typed in. How about the one with Kendall and Shivin? And it says click here to see this message. The here should be clickable. My title doesn't seem to work, which I'm a bit disappointed by. But I can click on that and it come, takes me to where the message was typed in.